This video is sponsored by Pixel Empire. More about them at the end of the sketch. It's the 90s. The year is 1996. Welcome back to the show. I'm here with our time-traveling reporter who's reporting live from the year 2022. Once again, I hate it here. Please bring me back to the 90s immediately, please. No, and so how's everything going in 2022? Well, not well. Everybody's angry at each other all the time. There's a weird feeling of impending doom, and I'm doing my best to hide from Elon Musk. A long Musk? What is that, like a very big secretion from an animal's glands? No, Elon Musk is this guy here in 2022 who, if I understand correctly, is just impregnating everyone he comes across. Oh my god. Yeah, he's got like 10 kids that we know of and they just keep popping out of the woodwork all the time. Like, there's one right there. Okay, no, that's a fire hydrant, but still. How do you know all this? Well, this information rectangle just keeps vibrating with stories about this guy. It seems like the media is obsessed with him at the moment. Wow, so who is this guy? Tell me a bit about him. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, well, I haven't done a ton of research, but it seems like he was part of of a company called PayPal in the late 90s, and then throughout the years, his hair kind of grew back. Oh, well, that's good to know. If I start losing my hair in the next couple of years, I can just start using PayPal. Yeah, PayPal seems like a fantastic hair regrowth company for sure. So how did he go from that to impregnating everybody? Oh, it looks like he's got a bunch of companies now, and they're all very futuristic and techy. Like what? Well, he's got this one major one called SpaceX. SpaceX? Whoa, the future's not messing around. What? Taking the Mile High Club to the next level, <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah, no, sorry, sir. I said space. X. Oh. Yeah, he's like making space rockets and stuff. He really wants to get humanity to Mars. Wow, well, helping humanity reach further into the cosmos. Gotta respect that. Yeah, it kind of feels like more of an escape plan, to be honest. Escape from what? Just all of it. Oh. He also has a really popular electric car company called Tesla. Electric cars, huh? Well, it sounds like at least people are getting the environment under control in the future. No, no. Wow, okay, well, dang it. Yeah, not doing super well in that regard. A lot of stuff seems to be on fire or underwater pretty often. All right, wow, yeah, okay, that does sound like a bummer, but still, I'm kind of excited to try one of those Tesla cars out. Well, the first one comes out in 2008, and you die in 2004, so that's not gonna happen. Oh my god, how does it happen? Am I sick? Yeah, you're pretty cool, you're a pretty cool guy. Ah, uh, Elon Musk also has the Boring Company. Oh, well then, I mean, I don't want to hear about that one then. No, it's not. I'm not, that doesn't sound interesting, just move on past that one. All right, maybe tell me about some of the good stuff this guy has done, how about that? Sure, I mean, seems like a couple of years ago, some kids were trapped in a cave and Elon Musk was trying to figure out how to get them out. Oh, well that's nice. Yeah, but then when they didn't use his idea, he called one of the rescuers a pedophile kind of out of nowhere. Oh, well that's not, that's less nice. Yeah, pretty messed up behavior, but Elon Musk is a troll to be fair. They have those in the future? Is that how I die? No, I'm talking about something called an internet troll. They kind of post stuff in order to get a reaction or to provoke. How do I die though? And this guy seems to post a bunch of jokes on this website called Twitter. Oh, so he's like a writer and a comedian too? No, these are pretty much all stolen. Are they funny? Not particularly, no. Yes, they are. They're genius. Who's that? Oh, uh, that's this thing in the future. Elon Musk has a bunch of really intense followers, so you can't say anything critical of him or they pop out and start yelling at you. You're just jealous because Elon Musk is the smartest man alive. Jeez. He's a deeply flawed man. I would die for him. All right, well then you do that. That's kind of intense. Yeah, I think maybe they think he'll notice them or something. I'm not sure what that's about. So what else should I know about Mr. Musk? Oh, well, sounds like he wanted to buy that Twitter thing. He offered a bunch of money for it, too. Oh? But then he said there were more bots on there than he thought, so he's trying to back out of that deal. Oh, I knew robots would be a thing in the future. That's kind of awesome. No, these aren't, like, cool robots or anything. They mostly try to get you to click on adult websites and steal your personal info while using poor grammar. Okay, well, listen, this Elon guy sounds kind of like a human tornado, but at least one person can only have so much effect on the world. He's the richest man alive, and the stock market freaks out every time he tweets. Oh, holy sh- Hey there, hello, it's me, I'm the Adstronaut. I'm out here in ad space to talk to you about Pixel Empire. Hey, did you know that art? Well, Pixel Empire makes awesome limited edition nerdy posters and apparel and stuff, while also supporting independent artists and creators all around the world. Like these fictional travel posters by Mafio. And these Ukiyo-inspired prints by Vincent Trinidad. And oh my god, it's happening again. 
Hey there, hello, frickin' breaking space news. Looks like this frickin' guy partnered with Pixel Empire again this year to make another limited edition Ryan George movie poster. This thing's frickin' full of Easter eggs and references, like here's Ryan George Jr. who will drink your blood if he gets the chance. 50% of all poster sales are gonna be donated to Critical Care Comics. That's a great organization that visits children in need while wearing movie quality superhero costumes and delivering donated comic books and toys. Also, the first 250 people to get the new poster can get last year's poster. So if you missed that, now's your last chance to get it. Check it out. And Pixel Empire also made some cool Ryan George merchandise that you can get. Look at these freaking things. They look fantastic. There are even some stickers. So hey, head over to Pixel Empire slash Ryan George to get your hands on some of this stuff. And in other news, the stock market saw an unexpected dip yesterday as Wall Street reacts to the... Uh, wait, no, so, no, this isn't a news show. I have space stuff to do. I gotta go. Bye bye <laughs>